Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is how to force defrost with the defrost control board. So presently I have the blue gauge hooked onto the uh, true suction, right? and then I have the red gauge hooked up to the vapor port, okay? Where we're in heat mode right now, so you have the high pressure vapor going from the compressor to the indoor coil where it's rejecting heat into the house. And, and this is where it's coming back into the compressor as a, as a vapor. Okay, so we're gonna force defrost, which is gonna make the uh, outdoor fan shut off. It's gonna make the electric resistance turn on if there is any on the indoor unit. And the reversing valve is gonna turn back to a cooling mode. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna heat up the outdoor coil. So we have our DFT off right now. And what we're looking at is your defrost temp sensor that looks like this. This particular one's a 3NT01L, so it opens on a temperature rise, okay? And it closes at a temperature of around 30 degrees. So um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have that disconnected and we're gonna make it close. That's one of the two things it takes for this defrost board to, to basically make the system go into defrost mode. So we're going to pretend like the sensor is below 30 degrees. So that's one of the things we're going to do. We're going to do it with alligator clips. One side will be shielded to make sure it doesn't uh, touch any other metal. And this side, we're going to just go ahead and clip it onto the DFT. So now that, that switch is closed. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put our screwdriver on the speed up terminals. So the red dip switch is back here. What those red dip switches are set for is to set it for 30, 60, 90, or 120 minutes. It's a timer. Anytime the heat pump runs, it counts that time. So we can actually speed up that time by 256 as a multiplier. And all we have to do is just put our screwdriver right on the speed up terminals. So where it would take um, 60 minutes, it's not going. It's only going to take a few seconds, which is what it's doing right now. So as I have this flathead screwdriver on these two terminals, it's going to increase the amount of time uh, by 256 as a multiplier. All right. So now we're in defrost mode. It was about about 25, 30 seconds or so, and we can end our defrost when we pull this alligator clip off. So really, this was pure suction, okay? And then this was attached to the vapor port. So right now they're gonna read the same pressure because now they're basically hooked to the same pipe. The reversing valve has switched, the outdoor heat pump fan has shut off, and if there's electric resistance heat inside, that will turn on. And presently, the outdoor fins are getting very hot and they are melting the ice. So you want to go ahead and check that out, make sure that the defrost is working properly. Once you're done checking that, all you have to do is pull this and that'll make the board think that the temperature on the coil is now 80 degrees, meaning that the whole coil, the all of the ice is melted off of it and it's safe to turn to normal operation in heat mode. Here we go. And now we're back into heat mode. So that the compressor does not shut off. It's just the reversing valve switches. And, and then the outdoor fan will be turned back on. And there it goes. And now we're returning back to normal operation again. All right. So we can go ahead and take our defrost sensor and go ahead and connect it back in. And that's that. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.